Her partner are in their living room when they notice one of their doors is shaking. They go near the door, which suddenly opens on its own. What the hell? Ooh. Shut up! And I'm she and just walk right walk in walk through the door and look at the stairs in the room. Ooh! Yeah! That! What it do? It's your boy C4 Strong. And guess what? I'm back with another legendary action video in the day. We come with these scary things are causing people to panic on the internet. Let's go! What it do, C Pool Squad? We back with another one, and this time we come with some scary job. I don't know if it's real, I don't know if it's fake, but we all about to check it out and see. We gonna see if somebody to set some jive up and see if it look flam or phony, or we gonna see if some shit really going down. Other than that, hey, leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about the whole thing. If you got any other requests for any kind of other videos you want me to check out, it really don't matter what it is, man. Hit me and let me know, and I'm gonna see what I can really do. Like I said, hit me on IG, uh, uh, hit me in the comments down below. Either or, you get your boy. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so when those things drop, you know you can take that ride with your boy. If you down with that Seaport squad, follow me on Instagram. Take a clip, add it to your story, and tag me in it. Let's, cause you know you with that Seaport squad. If you with that Seaport squad, I mean you rolling deep, almost too grand deep. <laughs> and you know all us, bro. We stay on. <laughs> The fuck? That shit turned around and all. Things that are so horrifying that we seek advice from whoever we can to handle what we witnessed. Freaky figure in the shower. Tell me how the hell you'll feel if you got down ran across some shit like that. Me? Boy, I don't know what the fuck I do, boy. I don't like that shit. Boy. I don't even fuck around and play around with that shit, boy. TikToker Marlene Anna White experienced just this situation when she noticed something absolutely terrifying in her shower. The advice she received led her to do a cleansing of the house, but the scary memories still remain, as does the footage. In the very first clip of the story, we see the TikToker's shower. Standing behind the shower glass like a door little short, is what motherfucker. first seems like a little short ass motherfucker got down in that bit. Ooh, shit. Be a small child. The TikToker explains that there's only one child in the house who's currently in the living room. I only have one baby at my house today. The rest of them Hello. are with grandma. You can clearly hear my baby in the living room. That motherfucker be my hello. Shit. I'm kicking that shit down. I don't want to see what I'm fucking that shit. Crying. Furthermore, her other children are with their grandmother. She goes on to say that she was on the toilet when she got a feeling that something was watching her. She started to get suspicious around her house, as she allegedly recently took a picture where she swears she saw her father who passed away in it. During this explanation, Boy. we can see the supposed child or toddler in the shower raise a hand to his or her chest. Ooh, fuck no. Ooh, fuck no. Shit, yeah, breaking that lease, get the fuck up out of there. Hey, shit, we better load up all this shit. We get the fuck up out of here. Hope that shit ain't coming with us. The TikToker asks the presence what he or she is, but receives no response. Who are you? Hello. The second clip brings us back to the bathroom. The TikToker explains that her husband had called to her from the bathroom, saying that she needed to see something. When she went in, she saw that it had nothing to do with the shower this time. Instead, a fire alarm on the ceiling had detached, and parts of the ceiling had fallen to the ground. The fuck? Moreover, water began to leak on the floor. She then turned- How the fuck water leaking on the floor from the goddamn ceiling? That shit don't make no motherfucking sense from the fucking fire uh oh. Uh, detector, that smoke detector, ooh. 
takes the camera to the shower, explaining that she had got her husband to take a look, though he had not discovered anything unusual. For the third clip, the TikToker is using an app that allegedly allows you to speak with ghosts. Listen to what happens. Sit around here, fuck around with the fuck around. Catherine. Mm -hmm. No. Who's Catherine? I'm close. The fuck? The TikToker freaks out and says she's leaving the room. I'm close. No. I'm leaving. In a follow-up video, the TikToker wants to prove to others that these clips are not a prank done with her kids. So she asks one of her children to stand in the shower. Stand in the shower real quick. Her child gets in and closes the door in front of him. Shut the door. Yeah, Dang. you can see color in Color all. for a boy. Yeah. Okay. It becomes obvious that the silhouette of her child looks nothing like the shadow that appeared in the first clip. Mm -hmm. okay. That shit look creepy yeah. than a With the bitch. videos garnering over a million views combined, there's been plenty of speculation as to what's happening in these clips. And what, Many and what viewers the fuck went with the usual demon, ghost, evil spirit, or alien suggestions. Alien? Mostly viewers lean towards a demon, as some paranormal experts believe that demons can take on the form of children in order to lure people under the pre pretense of trust and innocence. Nah, I don't know if that shit true or fucking not. I don't want shit to do with that shit. I know I done seen enough motherfucking movies when they be goddamn possessing them little motherfuckers and them niggas be getting goddamn crazy and slotting and killing motherfuckers and doing all kind of shit. Shit be floating and flying and shit. Boy, that shit right there. Boy, they gonna play around with that boy. I'm a, hey, I'm a nigga out the hood, man. Man, hood niggas be fucking around with no shit like that. Boy, you ever seen Tales from the Hood? You see what the fuck happened to them niggas? All them niggas had got it. If this is indeed a demon, what's its purpose of haunting a shower of all places? And is the demon related to the fire alarm becoming detached? These are vital questions to ponder as this mystery continues to unfold. Mm -mm. Who are you? That motherfucker had threw, Hello? Hey, that little motherfucker had threw their hands and motherfucker had threw the sets up on their ass again yeah, a little bit, this is my shit. <laughs> Run ass up out of there. Hauntings seem to occur in millions of places Man, worldwide. What the fuck? Though some are luckier than others in that their supernatural encounters own. Do you see that? Tell me, do you see that? You have to see that right there. Man, that shit look wild as a fuck. And that shit like some of a motherfucking scary movie. Last for a short amount of time. For TikTokers, Laney and Ben, the haunting in their home seems to be consistent and never ending. Man. In the first video, the TikToker is sitting in her car during her lunch break. She explains that she's just received several notifications on her phone from her home security camera. And there's been a notification or a couple from our um, home security camera and there's some footage that I've just seen that... Freak your ass out. The clip then cuts to footage of the cameras inside of her house. We can see the TikToker's kitchen where everything is still. Watch what happens next though. Oh fuck no. As you can see, a kitchen drawer is... What the fuck? Man, like I said before, man, I don't know if this motherfucking shit is real or not, but if it is, that's some motherfucking other shit. And if it ain't, but the motherfuckers hard with that goddamn that string and that motherfucking goddamn work behind the motherfucking scenes and shit and editing and all that shit to make it seem like that, but... That shit had real life motherfucking sounds of that drawer opening and real life sounds of that motherfucking goddamn chair goddamn being fucking goddamn drawer across that goddamn tile float. That shit ain't sound like no motherfucking sound effects put in that shit or nothing. That shit look and sound wow. Whoa, fuck no. Why get the fuck about it? They ain't even going back to that shit. Boy, that motherfucker have all that shit in the house. <laughs> Hold open. And soon after, a chair sitting at the kitchen table is pulled back. That motherfucker about to whip up some. In the second video, the TikToker and her partner are in their living room when they notice one of their doors is shaking. They go near the door, which suddenly opens on its own. What the hell? Oh shit! Shut up! 
And that motherfucker just walked right in there. Through the door and look at the stairs in the room. Ooh, shit! Fuck that! Fuck all that! Like I said, but that shit would have stayed in that motherfucker. I would have left that bitch. Seems to be nothing there. Ooh. The TikTokers question what they saw, with one asking if there was a shadow on the stairs. Was that a shadow just then? Where? I don't know. Well, I don't know either. In the final clip, we get another view of the kitchen. Yet again, a drawer is pulled open. Take a look. Same drawer too. The fuck? As you can see, silverware violently shoots across the room. One utensil. I mean, well, my thing is, man, why the fuck you gonna sit right there and goddamn fucking with niggas throwing silverware and opening doors and all that shit? What the fuck is you trying to do? You trying to scare the shit out of the ass so you could jump off in the ass or some shit? I don't understand that shit. Why the fuck you just gonna jump off in the bitch if you trying to jump off in the bitch with the whole purpose of uh, uh, scaring the motherfucker goddamn out the house? You don't want a motherfucker to be there or some shit? That shit just wild, man. That shit's stupid. Eyes in a straight line crashing into the wall. It almost looks like it sticks into the wall. The door also moves on its own. She sound real violent. Come on, man. What, 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 why? With many fake ghost videos, you can see things gently move around or even fall off shelves, which could easily be done with magnets. But the sheer force that's been yeah, applied to the cup in this shits. clip makes it hard to believe that magnets are at play. Just slinging and they slinging at random. But you got an industrial ass magnet. This is an ongoing mystery, as Laney and Ben continually post the strange events that seem to be plaguing their house. As of posting this, they have over 500,000 followers, all eager to see what happens next. I hope they get paid all this motherfucker shit. Motherfucker got there going through all that. I would've got the fuck up out of there. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> A video uploaded by Parasomnia MX on TikTok has gone on to terrify many around the world. In the video, we get a look at something far from normal, but certainly intriguing in its own right. We can see the back of a car that's driving ahead of the vehicle where the footage is being shot from. All looks normal at first until something freaky happens. Watch. Ooh, shit, like a motherfucker got there jumped on top of that bitch. Some kind of ghostly figure appears at the back of the car. Man, that shit look like CGI. For a few moments before disappearing completely. I ain't convinced by that. Here it is that. again in slow motion and zoomed in. Super cap. Still ain't fucking with it with though. With the closer zoom, it seems that the figure is indeed transparent, making a case for it truly being some type of phantom. Really, nigga? Some viewers suggested it could be a mannequin of some kind, but that doesn't explain its sudden disappearance. C G I. This might be one mystery we can't solve unless eventually given an explanation. Yes, sir, Mr. Capalot. Mr. Capalot. I don't believe it, man. Get past this shit, man. Next. YouTube user Anthony Rodriguez had a plan for a good night's rest, but that was quickly squashed by something frightful seen in his bed. The question is just what this formation could possibly be. What fucking we get an immediate view of the oh, YouTuber's shit, bed, no. where we can see in the middle what seems to be an ambiguous formation squirming around under the sheets. The YouTuber explains that there's nothing under the sheets. They can pull them shit he up, then. the formation to prove that there's nothing below causing the movement. There is nothing under it. Look, look, okay. Wait, watch. See the oh, shit in the mattress? Fuck, watch. Now rip that shit open. After he hits the bed, the formation seems to disappear for a few moments before reappearing once more. I don't know. That's just creepy. Oh, there it is. Look. Look. The YouTuber emphasized that there were no tubes or fans blowing air under the sheets, as some had suggested. Still, many viewers were positive that this was simply a case of hot air. Perhaps a mix of temperature and the particular fabric of the sheets caught together. There is nothing under it. Look, look, 
Wait, watch. It could also be that a window was open with a stream of air filling a small opening in the sheets, but it just doesn't look like this is the case. A breeze from a window wouldn't make a strange lump move erratically under a sheet. Out of here. Exactly. Unless this YouTuber admits it's a hoax of some kind, this bizarre clip will have to remain a mystery. My covering for my my mattress, there is nothing under it. Look, look, see? Wait, watch. See the look. There it is. Instagrammer Shivam Sona 5 has shared a short clip that has sent collective chills throughout the internet. In the video, motorcyclists ride by on a bridge. The camera operator, also on a motorbike, rides slowly forward, and we can spot something on the left of frame. That's a whole person. Oh, damn, As hold up. the rider up. inches forward, we can make out oh, to be some fuck. kind of alien figure. Nigga, that shit walking down the street like it on that bitch. Butt ass nigga. Wide open nigga like, hey, yeah, it's just me. I'm out chip. <laughs> slowly forward. Nigga. Why ain't nobody woulda believed me? Well, let me go the heck out there. Went, went, went to the hood and went ahead and tell them, boy, hey, boy, I had to go in that street, but I seen an alien walking down the block. Boy, nigga, look at me like I was crazy. Nigga, I woulda got there recorded that shit and all. Nigga woulda thought I was a cap and steel, nigga. The entity is tall, slender, and has light brown, grayish skin. This shit As other around. motorcyclists have a look, it stops in its tracks and turns around to face them. Man, I could have been wearing a nigga home boys in the suit. Turns back around and continues to stroll forwards. That's some Mexicans. There's no denying that the entity resembles something straight out of an alien movie. Niggas in Mexico? However, I don't think this cameraman is going to win any awards in cinematography. Really, I don't know what about fails boys to get a solid yeah, look at the figure. Frustratingly, the camera pans left just as they get close enough to get a better look. You know why? Cause that shit cap. Man, they gotta go skinny ass old boy, old motherfucking broad. Ain't no man had to goddamn put a little suit on, walk down the street and record that shit to go get the views, get that bread up, man. Clout chasing. Some think this shoddy camera work is used to hide the fact that it's all just a hoax. Pretty fucking much. <laughs> So let us know what you think's going on here, I or told what you, what you I would thought. do in this situation if you encountered such a strange Run that bitch figure. over. Let me know. Down run that bitch slap over. I am not giving that shit a chance to do nothing. I am not passing that shit, so that shit can get down. Yam me up in the back, or I ain't turning around so that shit can catch me from behind. Fuck no. I see some shit like that. I'm full force. And we did. We gonna run this shit over. We gonna keep running this shit over too. Then we gonna goddamn take a whole bunch of pictures and videos of that shit. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! But that shit cap though. There seems to be an endless amount of UFO videos captured by regular civilians of late. But what about those shot by the military? Oh boy. Surprisingly, the United States military itself is beginning to release footage of unknown aircrafts, as seen around the US, pointing to the possibility that perhaps UFOs are real after all. Oh, shit. One video uploaded by Jeremy Corbell on YouTube gave a glimpse into the 2019 USS Omaha UFO incident, as caught by military members themselves. The YouTube video. Nah, I ain't gonna sit right here and say that shit ain't real, cause boy, to believe we the only motherfuckers in this big ass, ridiculous ass universe. Shit, boy, that, you'll be motherfucker goddamn stupid to believe you. We the only motherfuckers in this motherfucking shit. We ain't nothing but a grain of motherfucking goddamn sand in this motherfucker. The goddamn I, I, I motherfucking galaxy ain't nothing but a grain of sand. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, for us to be the only motherfuckers, hey, I'd be dumb to even think that shit. If the motherfuckers here, shit, they probably been coming for a long ass time. Shit, nigga, I don't know. I ain't never seen them shit. So I ain't never came in encountered with none of them shit. I ain't trying to fuck with none of them motherfucking goddamn shit. But that shit crazy, boy. Motherfucker be catching that goddamn real life footage and shit. But if the goddamn military got this shit right, chill now. Shows viewers a strange spherical craft flying through the air above the ocean. They try to lock on. Right before the end of the footage, the aircraft seems to plunge directly into the water. 
Following this event, the military confirmed that no wreckage was found from this unidentified flying object after a search by submarine. Additionally, there's no known point of origin associated with the aircraft, and its current presence remains unknown. The case it's itself crazy. remains open. Many UFO fans were excited that the US government seems to be taking UFO sightings more seriously. So could this particular UFO be a real example of aliens finally coming down to Earth? And if so, how will the military react? Perhaps only time will tell. You already know what they gonna do! Shit dropped in the water on the air. Before we take a look at a creepy doll up to no good, remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle that little bell icon there, and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Are all of your doors locked? This shit crazy. Nowadays, dolls are associated with evil and creepiness more than ever, thanks in particular to the horror movie franchise Annabelle. They ain't even a real Annabelle. Many fear their own dolls may be possessed by some demon or other sinister creature. Though there are, as always, skeptics. Oh yeah. Well, thanks to one Facebook video shared by Blustery Zona Del Terra, these skeptics may join the group of believers. Hey man, I don't fuck around with that poisonous shit. Period. Nigga, I don't even want to be in the same room with a house with one of them motherfuckers. Shit. Fuck that. Evil dolls, after all. In the video, we can see a doll resting on the floor. <laughs> The doll holds a type of pink bracelet in her hands and seemingly sits completely still. Two individuals speak in the background with one lighting candles that sit in front of the doll. Uh oh. Following this, the individuals chant something together, seeming uh -oh. to perform a kind of ritual. What the fuck? For 30 seconds, nothing happens. Until suddenly, something is caught on camera. Watch. This shit better move. The doll's hand moves on its own. The individuals scream before the clip is- Man, they fucking around, they screaming because they ain't fucking with some shit they ain't got no business fucking with, bro. What the fuck wrong with the ass? You open the door, your ass can't close, motherfucker. Seriously ends. <coughs> As to the whole argument that dolls are indeed evil, the response to this video was split in half. Some other Facebook users were positive that the girls in the video had indeed summoned a demon while others were sure that this video was a kind of silly prank. Perhaps we can only hope that this is a prank and nothing wicked, as the girls may have brought to life a real Annabelle. In that case, their first response should be to call their local priest or exorcist. Fucking with shit they ain't got a bit of fucking with. Yeah, good folks, good folks, man. Y'all got there, checked out that shit with me, man. That job right there was kind of crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? If you believe in that thing right there happened, or you think it in that thing right there, fake or phony, man, leave a comment down there and let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, man. C Post Draw across all social media. If you need me, holler at me, man. I'm right there. It's me, C Post Draw. <laughs> and I'm out. Jamaican road one who are rank with bumba party. Huh, come on. I murder people for fun. Murder on the bumba party.